Car tester Enos Petri is certain the version of Citroen's DS3 that she's trying out is a woman's car. One clue is a picture of a fawn called Leon on the key. This little deer is the logo of French designer Inès de la Fressange. She was a model and an inspiration for Karl Lagerfeld, and then became a fashion designer herself. Now she's partnered with Citroën's high-end sub-brand DS to create a new look for the DS3. On the outside, it's identifiable by the red mirrors, the red wheel hub logos, and the blue, white, and red stripe trim inspired by old airmail envelopes running along the rear windshield's bottom edge. The opal white roof with a third brake light integrated in the rear spoiler sets a modern contrast to the dark blue body. Buyers can choose between a 73 kilowatt engine with automatic transmission and 96 kilowatts with a six-speed manual transmission. We tested the stronger gasoline-powered engine. It pulls the car from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 8.9 seconds. The 230 Newton meters maximum torque come into play from upwards of 1,750 revs per minute and give the little DS plenty of zip. Enos thinks the 96 kilowatt engine is ideal for the car. Even in sixth gear, she had enough power and reserve to make driving on the Autobahn fun. The designer edition is also available as a convertible. A soft black fabric top takes the place of the white roof. The special edition is limited to only 200 cars worldwide. That works out to just 10 hardtop and 15 convertible versions of the nearly four meter long super mini for the German market. Exclusive design has its price. Our test vehicle costs 27,370 euros in Germany. That's roughly 5,000 euros more than the best equipped normal DS3 model with an identical motor. The designer has left her signature on the interior as well. The granite blue grained leather seats pick up on the three color airmail theme. The carpet mats are edged with the same three color cord. The bright red accent seen outside appears again for the entire length of the dashboard. Enos realizes that design doesn't necessarily follow logical rules. For instance, even if the center console is fitted with a touchscreen, the menu selections work by pressing buttons down below and not along the sides, as we might expect. The buttons for the air conditioning are right where they belong. The indicator has a little round screen of its own. The instrument cluster is a bit too conventional for Enos's taste. She'd expected more from a designer car. Dynamic indicators, for example, that allow you to choose from a range of designs. Peugeot already offers something along those lines in its 3008 GT, where the driver uses a little roller on the steering wheel to select the style of instrument cluster. But then, the DS3 has a perfume dispenser and an illuminated mirror set in the sun visor. 
by anderen Herstellern. Ines points out that while car buyers normally pick out their customization options from a catalog, DS commissions a trendy designer and gives the resulting special edition an attractive name. She thinks it goes perfectly with DS's own philosophy. After all, Citroën has positioned its sub-brand as a car maker that highly values exclusive design.